sometimes it's the, the inner circle of the musicians, they know you and they've got an idea that they want you to be a part of whatever musical expressions they're putting together to be recorded. And uh, you know, I've done a lot of re recordings and uh, even studio type recordings where it is I'm not called upon to be independently Larry Ridley, a jazz musician, to, to just present my voice in that way. Because I played in big bands, I played with Duke Ellington, and you know, I had to learn how to, and, and, I, and the thing like playing with the big band, I always paid attention to uh, Harry Carney, the baritone saxophonist, and uh, I, I would lock in with him, my vibe in with him because he would be at the bottom of that saxophone section and the way he would lay it down and everybody is melted, it's forming a tapestry. And you just have to become a part of that tapestry. That's my interpretation of it and how I approach it. Because I learned from people like the Duke Ellingtons and the Horace Silvers and the Thelonious Monks and all the people that I played with, you know. you know, All you have to do is, as this, Phrase that from the Bible says, to thine own self be true and just stay cool. <laughs>